Good morning. Yes, El Elyon, the God who holds everything, holds everything, and is wants to bless you and see to all of your needs, but also wants to train you. That's the point. He wants to train you. I just want to share something with you this morning, a personal experience. And um, I share it with all humility because it was, I think, God was leading me in this way. And during this whole experience, well, I had many, many doubts, I can assure you. It was many years ago now when God spoke to me very simply and he said, I want you to tithe your income. I want to give away at least a tenth of your income. Well, at that time, I had a family, I had young children, and I remember going to my wife on that occasion, I said, if we were to tithe our income for this last month, then we need to give away, and I forget what it was, a certain sum of money. That's a tenth of what we received. And she said to me, well, if we give away that tenth, we haven't got any money to buy groceries and the food we need for the weekend. So what are we going to do? And I said, I don't know, but I really feel God is telling me that we have to trust him and give away the tenth. We prayed about it, and we accepted it, that this truly was the word of God. So I took the money that we had, and I went over to the church. Now, in the church, there were two safes. One of them contained the registers and bits and pieces for the everyday running of the church. I had a key for that safe. I thought, I can't trust myself. I'm not going to put the money into the safe for which I have a key. I'm going to put the money into the wall safe for which only the wardens have a key. So I remember pushing it in and almost hanging on to it <laughs> as it was going through the slot and thinking, Lord, I, I really hope I heard you right. And then letting it go and hearing it drop into the safe in the wall. And I remember going home and saying to my wife Margaret on that occasion, well, I've given it away. And she said, well, what do we do now? I think it was on about Thursday, you know. We've got a bit of food, but we really don't have man any food for the weekend. What do we do now? We normally go out and do our shopping, you see, on, on the Friday or the Saturday, ready for the weekend and the coming week. I said, I don't know. I just feel God has asked us to do this, and somehow we have to trust him. We were sitting down, and I was beginning to feel a little worried now. I was beginning to feel a bit apprehensive. Perhaps I hadn't heard. Perhaps I hadn't heard right, you know. When suddenly there was a knock on the front door. I went to the front door, and there was a, one of my prisoners there, a person called Ray Caddy. I always remember it. I remember his name. I said, hi, Ray, what's up? He said, you know, I've got the allotment. I said, yes. He said, look, i I got so much, I don't know what to do with it. I put all this stuff in this uh, wheelbarrow that I'm just giving it away. Can I give you anything? Because I don't know what to do with it. And I looked down, and there was a wheelbarrow full of vegetables. I said, well, I'm very grateful, Ray. And knowing the fact, you know, that we didn't have any money to buy food the weekend, I took it off him gladly and filled the great vegetable rack with all that he'd given us. I remember the saying to my wife afterwards, well, at least if you have nothing else, we can have vegetable soup for the weekend. But an hour or two later, there was another knock on the door, and I went to the door. And there was another woman there, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember her name at the moment. My family can probably tell me what it was. And she said, hi, Roy, she said, we've got a problem. I said, what's that? She said, our, our freezer's broken down. She said, we've, we've got, it's full of meat. She said, and although the insurance will cover it, the meat will go off because the freezer is not working and it's coming up the weekend. We can't get anybody out to see to it in the next hours. Nobody's going to come until Monday. So we're just going around giving away the meat that is in the freezer before it goes off. I said, thank you very much. And she gave me this pile of meat, which we took and put into our freezer. And off she went again. And I remember her standing back and looking at this vegetable rack full of vegetables and this freezer full of meat and realising 
that we could never, ever have afforded to buy that meat and buy all those vegetables at this occasion. God was training. God was training. And you know, he's been training me all through my life because often I get doubts. Oh yes, often I get doubts. And whenever I get these doubts and I challenge him and I say, El Elyon, I'm calling on you as El Elyon. I have needs which cannot be faced. I cannot find a way of reaching these needs. Suddenly, out of nowhere, an offer is made. And suddenly the problem just disappears. Now, I just want to challenge you. Yes, you may know God as Yahshua. You may know God as Abba. You may go God as um, Emmanuel, God with you. You may trust God as El Shaddai, the one who controls everything. I'm saying to you now, can you trust God as El Elyon? Because you know he wants to bless you and he wants to train you and he wants to show you he loves you so much he will take care of your needs. But he also wants to train you. Amen.